Hello, cruising world. Make the suit go with you. It is Monday. You know what Monday means? Monday means it's tips day. Tips and cruise traditions day. And today, it's kind of a mix. From Carl, we got cruise traditions and tips. In fact, all of his tips could be cruise traditions, I think, if you read them differently. But um, they're wonderful. We'll get to them in a minute. Before I start, I just want to, you know, uh, a little bit dressed down today because normally I have a tie with these things. Today, this one has a bow tie. And uh, frankly, I don't feel like uh, I could be bothered to put it on. It's a clip. It will just go on the back like so. Um, you know, hook it around your neck and everything. But just imagine I have a bow tie. Dress down Monday. Didn't feel like it. What do you want from me? All right, let's get into this. Carl's tips slash cruise traditions. Number one, on carnival, upon boarding, first up is straight to the bar. Order a blue margarita. Now, I kind of do the same thing. I run to the Red Frog and order a red stripe because there was a time, it's not the same anymore on every ship at least, but when you uh, got on board, the first person in the Red Frog that got a drink, it was free. I don't know why I was so obsessed with doing it, because I always get the cheers package, but there was just something about it. The competition was there. I wanted to be the first one. But I have found out that they don't always do it anymore. I think it depends on the bartender, whether they even know about it. I don't think they push it. So, uh, like on the Carnival Radiance, I went on that ship nine times in 14 months. And over that time, I think like eight at the time, I was always first. But at those times, uh, just over half, I got my free drink. The others, they didn't know about it. But anyway, try it, still there. But uh, yeah, that's a good little thing first to do. Uh, f you know, it's like when you go on board, everybody rushes straight to the um, guy's burgers or something. My opinion is don't do that on day one. Don't go where everybody else is gonna go on day one. Go somewhere different before everybody else finds it. So do your research, find out the places that will become popular, but people don't necessarily know about and go there on day one. By the time people have done Guy's Burger a couple of times, they don't want to keep going. Well, most of them, some of them, will keep going all the time. But most of them, inside tip for you. Number two, the first night in the main dining room, they order a shrimp cocktail, a flat iron steak, a melting chocolate cake for dessert. They did go on to add, unfortunately, Carnival has removed flat iron steak from the menu and replaced it with a horrid strip loin full of gristle, do not order. Well, I guess Carl's disappointed in the steak. I will tell you, I have a rule on um, cruise ships and in general, I try not to order red meat unless it's in a steakhouse. It's just the way I am. Because I find it really hard to cook red meat well um, and good quality red meat at that. Uh, I would, I'm in the wedding business too, a wedding DJ. My wife, Julie, she's a wedding planner as well as being travel agent. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so we would go uh, to weddings and we'd have lunch or dinner at the wedding and I would never order the red meat option because it's, it's, it's really hard to cook it properly for that many people. Much easier to cook fish, chicken, stuff like that. So I do ground beef, but I do avoid red meat at all costs. So I, I get where you're coming from. And I do agree that to some extent the quality of the food has gone down. But I think a lot of that is to do with the costs. You know, I mean, we're still reeling from COVID. They're still trying to get their money back and this stuff ain't cheap. And uh, the amount of food waste that goes out there every day when people order food and just leave it. So kind of kind of understand it to an extent. And the melting chocolate cake, I'm not going to lie. I will agree that the chocolate, the desserts have gone downhill rapidly because my favorite one, the s'mores parfait, is gone. I used to, do, every time I got on board, we're going to go to a, a, a specific, you know, steakhouse, whatever. I will go on board and I'll look at the menus for every night on the hub. And I'll say which one I like the least and I'll go to the steakhouse or whatever on that night. But I'm also secretly looking to see what night is sports parfait night. Because if I am in a steakhouse that night, I'll go and get one anyway and put it in my fridge for the next day. Stop doing it. I really do think that the, the desserts, and I'm not one to complain, I don't cruise for the food. I do not cruise for the food, I cruise for the fun, and I'm not a complainer. But I do agree that the food has gone downhill a little bit, but I understand why. Uh, but I don't do the melt and cake. Uh, I've done the chef's table a couple of times and I saw how they made it. And that is a heart attack on a plate, as is most of the food. But when I saw what went into making that, what went into making that, ooh, there's not much healthy stuff going in there. Shrimp cocktails, do that. Ask Glenn. Glenn will tell you how good the shrimp cocktails are. So that's number two. Boom. Basically what we're saying here, it's more of a cruise tradition. Have the same meal every time you get on the ship. Have the same drink we get on first time on the ship. I love it. Uh, number three. 
I set up a spa treatment for the wife the next day so I can have more drinking time. <laughs> Genius. On elegant night, go to steakhouse instead of main dining room. We find it much less crowded. Now, I will say this. You know, because a lot of these things I read them out, I would never say them. Because I don't always agree. or not, not agree isn't the word. I don't always follow along with some of these tips. I get that a lot of people would. I love the first part. I don't set up the spa treatment because that's too expensive. I just basically tell my wife to go take a nap because she loves taking naps. So every afternoon she's nap time and I got my own drinking time there and I don't have to pay for a spa package. <laughs> but if you want the wife to feel special, send her to the spa. Um, don't want my wife to feel, to feel special. So I just say go take a nap. Kidding, kidding. So, uh, yeah, an elegant night, go to steakhouse instead of MDR. I mean, I, I get the logic in that 100%. Uh, I think these days, like, I, I am going on a celebration. I'm going on the magic. And I was going online to look at the steakhouse, too. Because now you can book it in advance. You make your reservation. And I'm going on there. And every time is sold out, no matter what day it is. Uh, very few times available if you don't book those restaurants in advance. There's a tip in a tip for you. You know, if you want to go to a steakhouse on the cruise... Book it as early as possible because otherwise you're left to go anywhere at 5.30 or 9.30. They're about the only times they have available. If you want to go at peak times, like 7 o'clock-ish, good luck finding one. Um, and I also, I, would, I do have to say, in the main dining room, on elegant night, is one of the few nights food is really usually good. So, <laughs> didn't say that, did I? Because I don't complain. But we always want to go there on the main dining room. Um, but I don't, I don't necessarily agree with the find it much less crowded because I think it's busy every night in a steakhouse. That's just me. I am not the great font of all knowledge. But uh, check it out. Check it out. I love the tradition. Number four. Now, this is one I would never give you. Early riser here. That's why I'd never give it to you. I am walking the decks at 5 a.m. drinking coffee, waiting for the gym to open to get on the treadmill for three miles. Will gain no weight at the end of the cruise. Brackets, I have to force myself to do this. The gym used to open at 6, but on the last cruise, it did not open till 7 a.m. It messed up my schedule and several others. Now, I do get that. I mean, I was recently on the sunrise, and I did make myself get up early to go do a full ship tour and video it, because I wanted to do it while the ship was empty. Not that I wanted to go to the gym. Uh, so I was there at 6-ish, and it was not open. I think, and I could be wrong, I think part of it is that they actually let the crew go in there for a couple of hours in the morning uh, before everybody else. Because I, I know I went in there, and most of the time the door is actually closed. You can't even get in. But on this particular day, we could get into the gym. And I walked in the door about 6 a.m. Somebody else was behind me. And we got literally shouted at to get out of the gym. Doesn't open until 7. So I think it is a new thing that it starts at 7. And if it's because it gives the crew a chance to work out, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But, um, yeah, it doesn't open until 7. Uh, I will say this too, and I'm going to start doing this again because I'm not exactly in the healthiest shape I've ever been in my life. Uh, we used to go on the longer cruises. We still do. Longer cruises as much as possible. And it's vital to work out on those cruises or I am coming on 30 pounds overweight or whatever it's going to be when you drink 15 beers a day on a cheers package. So I would go in there and I would do an hour's workout on a treadmill at full incline. You heard me. Full incline every day. I didn't gain weight on that cruise. Boom. Work hard, play harder. That one hour created 23 hours of party time. 24 hour party people, to quote the song. Who sung that? Put it in the comments. With one hour of non-partying. But some people love it. Some people will consider that partying. And I don't drink coffee. So um, this, and it's the same as last week's. I would never come up with these tips. This is why I want you to send them because I can share them with people because we tend to fall into a habit of only telling people what we would do and what we would like. And you don't have to like all these tips. Most of my tips I give out, a lot of people won't like them, won't do them. Great, that's fine. I'm just giving you options and ideas. I wouldn't do most of these. That's fine. They're all options and ideas and suggestions that some people will love. You don't have to love everything you read. So, Carl, I appreciate you immensely for sending those to me. Keep them coming. Send me some more. And uh, I'll read them out as well. All great tips for the right people. Maybe not me. But I'm not the be-all and end-all. By the way, I didn't mean not the right ones for me. It means I wouldn't personally do them because I'm not getting up at five in the morning to go to the gym. Uh, 
and I don't eat red meat, and I don't go to the spa, and I don't drink margaritas. So that's why, I'm not saying they're bad, it's just not for me. But for the next person, or you, everyone could be perfect. You might like blue margaritas, you might like red meat in the steakhouse, you may love going to the spa, and you may love getting up early and going to the gym. In which case, they are great for you. That's all I'm trying to say. And with that, subscribe, send me your questions, send me your tips, send me your cruise traditions. Very important, I need them. They make the world go round. And they make every cruiser's day and trip and cruise better. I will see you later, cruising world. Until next Monday. Any questions? Email me anytime. Cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, elitetravelconnection.com or email me, mick at elitetravelconnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please. Pretty please. You know you want to. Go on. I won't beg you. Okay, I'm begging. Please. Subscribe. Thank you.